Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and we are back. It's the Super Bowl edition of the Gridiron Gals. And of course, I am the NFL chick, and I have my girl, Miss Pigskin Loving Lady, with me. And we apologize for being gone for so long. We know you missed us oh so much. Mm -hmm. But while we were gone, we was making big moves and doing big things. Uh, my girl was in Miami doing some work for the Pro Bowl, for Gatorade. And just give us a little bit of um what you were doing down there, Mama. Um, I actually was flown to uh, South Florida to actually test in the Gatorade Performance Lab. And along uh, with testing, I got to uh, meet a couple of NFL players and interview them um, just about the season and stuff like that. Um, it was really interesting. Gatorade is coming out with this new G2 series. So it's a before, during, and after kind of drink. And the players are actually um, be trying that out during the Super Bowl. So that was really cool, and I just want to say that the NFL received a lot of slack about moving the Pro Bowl to Miami, and most of the people that was there um, enjoyed it, and maybe that's what made the difference being in Miami. Um, it made it more personal. Um, I enjoyed myself immensely, and I also want to just say um, I got my sex phone operator voice from uh, Florida because it was damp and raining while I was there, and then I came back to the DMV to the blizzard of 2010, so uh, just bear with me with my voice, but this is the why, you know, the different climate. So, And um, tell us about, I know that there's an interview on your website. You interviewed mm -hmm. Deshaun Jackson, the Deshaun Jackson from the Philadelphia yep. Eagles, and I got a chance to look at it. So how was that like? Um, you know what? It, he was very, very cool. And I, I, I just feel so bad because I didn't realize till afterwards that him and I share a birthday, December 1st, Sagittarius's. And, um, but he was actually really cool. He's a young and he wanted all the ladies to know that he's a ladies man. And, you know, what I really took away from the interview the most is I asked him about the rumors about Donovan McNabb possibly not returning to Philadelphia. And he was like, at the bottom line of it, we all have jobs to do and it's a business. So he wasn't like, uh, advocating for Donovan to come back and he also wasn't advocating for him to leave he just it, it was just interesting to me to see him say whether he stay or go he's going to be good he's got a job to do which was very interesting you know so that just tells me yeah that just to me let on to some things so I think everybody should check out that interview. It was a very good interview. PigskinLovingLady.com to check out in its entirety uh, my girl talking to Deshaun Jackson. But we are here to talk about the game, the big game. Yeah. Today is Super Bowl Sunday, and we are excited, even though our teams aren't playing. Yeah. Um, hey, we love football, so we don't really care who plays. We're going to watch, and we're going to yeah. enjoy the game just like everybody else. So um, first off, um, let's talk a little bit about matchups. I, I think that this is a really good game. I think that both teams are pretty evenly matched up. Um, you know, obviously the Saints have a high-powered offense, but so do the Colts. And yep. it's just so hard to pick offensively who you think is going to be better. Both bring different things to the table. I think that the Saints are more well-rounded because they have a running game as opposed to the Colts. But the Colts uh, have Peyton Manning, which is always going to be the X yeah. factor. And he just finds ways yeah. to make plays. Yeah, I agree with you, and I do just think that we need to focus a little bit more on the running game because we do know about the uh, prolific passing game to these great wide receivers on both sides of the field. So this is to me where you have to balance, you know, try to find some balance in another key component, and that's the running game. And to me, I have to give the edge to the Saints because they have Pierre and Reggie Bush, and all we know about is Joseph Adai. Um, so that advantage goes to the Colt, I mean, to the Saints. Um, but you know. It, to me, it's going to come down to defenses as well. And I think that Dwight Freeney's ankle, I don't care how they're trying to play it or downplay it, that is a key um, factor because who's going to run through greens? If you don't give him, um, you know, you give him time in the pocket to pass, he's going to light you up, you know. So Dwight Freeney's um, injury, the Colts, I mean, uh, Saints defense, they're physical. I mean, um, Saints defense, I'm sorry. It's very, very physical. So, you know, like you said, it's so evenly matched, and I think the choices that you make for who you think going to win is really, you know, head versus heart here. So, you know, we can make all the arguments on the field as why we think which team was going to win, but when it all comes down to it, it's a personal choice because this is really going to be a great game because we have two great teams. I agree. I'm, to go back with you on defense, I agree. Um, I do believe that the Saints have a physical defense. Yeah. The Colts um, – 
have a fast defense and that, that and you know that within itself can give you problems um freeney being out if he doesn't play is huge however i do think that mathis and um, brock will do a good job um we just don't know how good they're gonna do at this point mm-hmm. with freeney you know possibly not gonna be in the game um i've seen the colts uh, numerous times obviously we played the colts a lot and they're fast that's one thing about their defense that i can say and i, I don't think that they really get enough credit we we know that the the Saints defense is physical. We know, you know, yeah. Darren Sharper it has been outstanding this season. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But it's just mm-hmm. hard to, you know, for the Colts, it's really hard because all we talk about is Peyton Manning, Peyton Manning, Peyton Manning. But yeah. they do have a defense. They're pretty good. And, and they've been decent, yeah. effective. They've been pretty effective uh, all season. They've been effective this postseason. And it's going to be interesting to see how those two rookie corners is going to match up against uh, Drew Brees' wide receivers. It's, it's just definitely going to be a good game. So with that being said, who Wait, I just want to bring up one thing. When you said about the Colts defense being fast, because mm-hmm. you got to see them play live. So you think the speed is um, the same on turf as it is on grass? That's a good point. Um, I think that the Miami turf is probably going to slow them down a little bit. I don't know exactly. how much. Both teams are dome teams. Well, well yeah. even with the Colts moving into this new field, I mean, it's pretty much, um, you know, like a dome. And so mm-hmm. they play on that turf, but I think that the grass or the natural grass, whatever they use at the stadium, will slow them up a little bit. Um, yeah. I just don't think that it'll be as much as we expect. I mean, because they play on the road and they played outside. And so we've seen this all season long. They, they've pretty much played pretty well the entire season, their defense. So I just think that the biggest issue is Freeney and not so much as the speed. I think the speed will be there, but Freeney not getting that pass rush is going to be huge. Yeah. Yeah. Who do you see winning Super Bowl? Well, you know, um, I just decided to ride with what um, I feel like I've um, omitted to the viewers um, since we've been doing the vlogs. And I'm an emotional football watcher fan. And so I'm staying with emotion here and I'm just going with my heart and I'm just going to pick the Saints. I think there's no better feeling for me personally than seeing um a new team um, win the championship. I mean, that feeling, you know what I'm saying? I, it just comes through through the screen. And I would just love, 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 love to see the Saints and all of their players in their city um, get a championship. Um, so I'm just going to roll with my heart and my emotion and go for the Saints here. I, my heart speaks this for the Saints. I really yeah. want the Saints to win for so many reasons. Um I'm not the biggest Colts fan, obviously. Yes. Being from Baltimore, yes. I'm not going to root for the Colts, you know, <laughs> willingly. Right. Um, right. The Saints, obviously, have gone, the city of New Orleans have gone through so much. And, you mm-hmm. know, for them to have so much to be thankful for and to cheer about and just to have, you know, that community come together, to me, really wants the Saints to win. I do with everything. However, I know what Peyton Manning is capable of doing, and it's hard for me to root against Peyton Manning. It's so hard for me to root against Peyton Manning. Regardless of how I feel about that team, I think Peyton Manning is awesome. I think he's playing out of this world right now, and I just don't know who is going to be able to stop him because he's just in a zone at this point. And I I have to go with my my heart says the Saints, but my mind says the Colts. I'm going to roll with my mind and pick the Colts, but I really want the Saints to win. So. You know. Okay. Well, we got it. I got. I'm going for the Saints. You going for the Colts? That's and right. just check out our websites um, throughout um, the off season and check back out for our blogs because we're not going anywhere. Get familiar with the Piskin and NFLChick.com because we're going to be here for a while, bringing you bigger and better stories as um, the season um, ends and the season ne- next season begins. So. Thank you, and we'll see you soon. We will see you soon. Have a great Super Bowl Sunday, everybody. Bye.